In this video, we'll be solving a question on continuous case of the moment generating function. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. Here we are asked to find the MGF, which is the moment generating function of the given exponential distribution. We are also asked to find the expectation and variance of the given distribution. Solution. We should recall that for the moment generating function, for more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. We have that ETX is equal to ETX multiplied by F of X dx. So for this, what we will be solving is the moment directing function we will be using this exponential tx dot f of x. This is what we will be using. We are the given PDF is this. So the next thing to do is just to substitute the PDF into this moment generating function. So it then means that our moment generating function of f of It then means our moment generating function is equal to the integral from zero to infinity exponential px multiplied by the PDF given lambda exponential raised to the power of lambda x dx. The next thing to do is to write out this properly. We'll have something like this. Lambda e, we can combine this to give us negative lambda x plus tx. We can also bring out lambda and write it as e Something is common, which is x. So we bring that x. If we bring that x, we we'll get something like this. So our moment generating function will give us this. The next thing to do is to let let w be equal to x lambda c. It then means that the W, because we are using change of variable techniques from calculus, which is equal to the X lambda P, which implies that if we make this the subject, we we'll get the X to be equal to the W all over lambda C. So we just put this into this moment generating function. It then means that our moment generating function will be equal to lambda from zero to infinity e raised to the power. Of, we already know that this is W. W is the whole of this. So we have negative W. Then the W all over lambda t, which is equal to, the whole of this is equal to, we can write it as lambda, lambda minus t into zero infinity exponential w dw. So we integrate that. If we integrate this function, we get lambda all over lambda minus t to be equal to negative exponential w. Then we bring our infinity and we bring our zero down. 
is equal to this function is also equal to we bring down this all over lambda t and from calculus we know that we have something like we put this first exponential this minus exponential zero so the whole of this means that our moment generating function of t will be equal to this going to this we get lambda all over lambda minus t to be negative zero plus one so that is what we'll get so negative zero plus one will give us positive it means that our moment generating function our moment generating function will give us lambda all over lambda minus t so the next thing to do is for we to obtain the expectation and the variance so we come over to this place For clarity, our moment generating function is equal to lambda all over lambda minus t. So the next thing to do is to take the first moment and the second moment. The first moment, which is written as this, which is also equal to the expected value of x is equal to the next thing to do here we say u and v we use what is called the quotient rule to differentiate this and the quotient rule states that v the u all over the t the y all over the t minus u the v all over the t all over v squared is equal to the expected value of x is also equal to now we bring down v v is lambda minus t the u all over the t the u all over the t is zero zero minus we bring down u u is this and we differentiate this. If we differentiate this, we get with respect to t, we get zero minus one. We get um, so if we bring down u, u is lambda. If we differentiate this, we get zero minus. We differentiate this with respect to t, we get one. So we get minus one all over v squared. This is v lambda t all squared so it then means that if we open this we will have our first moment at t to be equal to this multiplied by this will give us zero this this will get lambda all over lambda minus t all squared so that is what we we'll get lambda all over lambda minus t all squared. We come over here at t equal to zero. At t equal to zero. So for more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. At t equal to zero, at t equal to zero, our first moment is equal to 
lambda our first moment which is also equal to we shouldn't forget this our expected value of x is equal to lambda all over and here you see t equals zero lambda minus zero square which is lambda minus lambda squared which is this cancel this we give one all over lambda also our second moment our second moment that means differentiation two times our second moment we also have this we got this to be that of the first moment so we differentiate this again that means here we take here as u and here as v we still use this it means that the y all over the t which is equal to our moment generating function of t which is equal to the expected value of x squared that is this is the expected value of x squared is equal to now we differentiate this we still use the quotient rule which states that v the u all over the t minus u the v all over the t all over v squared so this is equal to we bring that v this is our v lambda minus t all squared the u all over the t the u all over the t is zero minus we bring that u u is lambda we now differentiate this the v all over the t if we differentiate this we get something like lambda sorry if we differentiate this function we get two lambda minus t and for a function of a function this is two minus one multiplied by we differentiate the function inside which is we differentiate with respect to t so we differentiate t to give us multiply by minus one all over v is lambda minus t all squared then squared so we have it we have our moments generating function the second moment generating function to this, this all of this will give us zero this will give us this will cancel this so we have this multiplied by this will give us two multiplied by lambda squared minus lambda t all over lambda minus t raised to the power of four so this is what we have as we have two lambda squared minus lambda t all over lambda minus t raised to the power of four so at t equal to zero at t equal to zero our moment generating function the second moment generating function which is the expected value of x squared is equal to anywhere we see t we put zero we have two multiplied by lambda squared minus lambda multiplied by zero all over lambda minus zero raised to the power of four which is equal to two lambda squared all over lambda four we are not done yet we are not done we can come over to this place we come over here of course we can have this as two the meaning of this is two multiplied by lambda multiplied by lambda all over lambda multiplied by lambda multiplied by lambda multiply by lambda so this this will cancel this and this we will now be left with two all over lambda square so 
our second moment at at t equal to zero. Our second moment at t equal to zero is equal to two all over lambda squared. Two all over lambda squared. So very simple. We can now write our variance. We can now write our variance. We can write our variance. We can write our variance. We should note. We should note that the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x all squared. So, in this case, we are using t as this x here. So, we have our first moment to be our first moment to be 1 all over lambda. Our first moment is 1 all over lambda. Our first moment is 1 sorry, our second moment which is this is this is our first moment and this is our second moment. So the expected value of x squared which is this is 2 all over lambda squared minus our first moment is 1 all over lambda all squared which is equal to 2 all over lambda squared minus 1 all over lambda squared which is equal to 2 minus 1 since they have the same function here we have lambda squared so 2 minus 1 is 1 all over lambda squared therefore our variance for an exponential distribution on a continuous case is 1 all over lambda squared so this is how to obtain the moment generating function for an exponential distribution when you are treating a continuous case. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel.